The Chicago Bears are one of the worst teams in the NFL. With only one winning season and a winning percentage of 38% in the last 10 years, it has been rough in the Windy City. But there's hope. After drafting Caleb Williams, the Bears are looking to make the playoffs and compete for Super Bowls to come. And that's where we begin. Our job is to win the Bears a Super Bowl. And if I don't complete that, along with the rest of these goals, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. All right, here we go. This is my first Madden rebuild. We are going to be doing the Bears 83 overall. They were 7 and 10 last year. Um, obviously, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, DeAndre Swift, Kevin Byer, Jalen Johnson. This team is not bad. Obviously, we need to improve the offense. We need to improve the defense as well. Playing in a really tough division, but having an X Factor in three hidden dev guys is going to be really important. Let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look at the roster. Obviously, Keenan Allen, absolute stud. We do have DJ Moore and Roma Dunze back here at wide receiver three. You know, our offensive line is developing young. We have Cole Komet, DJ Moore. Keenan Allen. I love Tevin Jenkins. Um, DeAndre Swift, obviously Caleb Williams. We hope he develops into a superstar. I'm fine with our offense. I'm not going to touch anything here. Obviously defensively led by Kevin Byard. Jaquan Brisker back there. We have Jalen Johnson. Linebackers, TJ and Tremaine Edmonds. We also have Montez Sweat, the new addition. We do have some young pieces, especially in the front seven, but I feel comfortable with this team. I feel comfortable with defense. Special teams, we have Toy Taylor, a hidden dev punter. That's awesome. The one thing I am worried about is kicker. I just wonder if we can find someone in free agency to replace Cairo Santos. I just don't trust him, but that's really the only position I'm looking at where I'm like, damn, we need to make a move right now. So taking a look at free agency, there's actually a lot of different high-level pieces in free agency. Justin Simmons is here. He's a 90 overall. I know he's only, I know he's 30, but he's a superstar. I think I'm going to try to sign him to a one-year deal. Still have cap space going forward. We're going to get Justin Simmons. And I got an achievement. Okay, wow. So with that, we have Justin Simmons. Obviously, Kevin Byard's here. <sighs> Honestly, I probably try to trade Justin Simmons throughout the season because I don't think he's coming back. He's also going to regress. If I can get something for Justin Simmons, the guy that we already have Kevin Byard. Like, I know it's kind of a weird move, but we can move these guys around in the secondary. Maybe put one of them to strong safety. Maybe move one of them to the corner. We'll be okay. Having too much talent is never a bad thing. All right, so heading into the season, I think I'm gonna make our season goal playoffs. I know it's a little bit aggressive, but I mean, I think this team can make the playoffs. We had seven games last year. Theoretically, we're a better team. Fuck it, let's go for it. Upgrade players. Let's see what we have to upgrade. Jalen Johnson with an upgrade. Let's, we'll do this manually. I want, oh, I wanted to do man-to-man, -man, but he's a 90 overall. That's huge. DJ Moore, playmaker. This is ball carry vision, juke move, break tackle. Break tackle is awesome. 91. Oh, wow. Playmaker got a lot of stuff. Wow. We'll do DeAndre Swift as well. Elusive back. Elusive spin juke move. Yeah, that's important. Tremaine Edmonds, field general. We like that. He is a captain. He's the middle of our linebacker. He's probably going to be my user if I hop into any games. I'm probably going to hop into less games in this than I would in the college ones, just because I kind of want to see how the simulation handles it. Man-to-man, -man, I really want that to get upgraded on our corners. Tyreek Stevenson, upgrade his man-to-man. -man. I want our corners to be locked down. We got some great corners, especially some young guys. Khalil Herbert, let's upgrade him. And if Case DeAndre Swift gets hurt, he needs to be ready to go. Darnell Wright, agility. We like his run block and his pass block and his impact block. Yeah, agile is nice. Plus five to pass block. That's awesome. He's already almost an 80 overall, and he's only in his second year. That's incredible. Tory Taylor, the legend from Iowa. Uh, power. We'll do power. Whoa, they did my guy, Tory Taylor, so dirty. Why does his head look like that? I'm going to let the CPU... I'm going to do Tyler Scott, but I'll let the CPU handle the other two. Playmaker is huge, as we just saw. I mean, Keenan Allen, he's probably going to be here long-term, but, you know, he is going to regress. You hope Tyler Scott can develop into that wide receiver three. And we're going to let the CPU do these last two. Austin Booker, shout out to Austin Booker. Absolute stud, rock chalk. We do have 28 coach points. Um, We're going to do... We're going to upgrade some stuff here. We do want player personnel stuff. That's huge. And that's all I can do. Okay, well, that's nice. We start the season off against the Titans at home. I'm going to sim to midseason. We're going to see how this season goes. All right, so at the midway point, we are two and four. We don't like that. Let's take a look at the team. Before we take a look at the team, let's see if we can re renegotiate some players. Justin Simmons wants a three-year deal. We have a lot of cap going into next season. I think I'm going to try to get him on this deal. Three years, $8 million a year. Even if he drops off just a little bit, he still should be fine. We do have Keenan Allen too. He wants a fairly big deal. We don't have to pay Caleb Williams for a while. So I think if there's any time to pay someone, it's now. He is 32, but he's still in 90. A four-year deal, this would this would be a huge cap hit, but the Bears traded for Keenan Allen. You assume that you're trading for him to keep him? So we're gonna fucking, we're gonna give him this offer and see what he does. He's re-signed, awesome. Tevin Jenkins, another guy I think we can re-sign. I think if we get him at this two-year deal, that'd be huge. Okay, we're close. We'll have to come back to Tevin Jenkins. Khalil Herbert, I'm really okay with letting walk. We have DeAndre Swift. We have Roshan Johnson. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't really see anybody else that I'm... I, I did sign Pat Pete to a one-year deal. If he wants to continue to come back on one-year deals, I have no problem with that because great bet in the locker room, great depth at corner. 
that's fine. And then, yeah, I did sign Evan McPherson. I don't really like Cairo Santos. So Evan McPherson, if I can get him on a three-year deal, he's only 25. He's a stud kicker. Fuck it. We'll do 55%. We haven't been winning many games, so I don't need to take too big of a risk. Roma Dunze, he has two upgrades. The morale's down because we're losing. Got to get that switched up. We're going to upgrade Roma Dunze. He's going to continue to develop. He's going to hop into that two spot soon. He's a stud. And then we're going to do Caleb Williams, and I'm going to let the rest. Yeah, field general. I think scrambler is nice, but I like field general for a quarterback. I think throw accuracy is, is super important. So we're going to keep hammering that. And then I'm just going to, we're going to let the CPU do the rest of these upgrades. Tevin Jenkins is 26. We're going to offer him a nice player-friendly offer. Still have $20 million in camp. We really can't afford to lose Tevin Jenkins. And he resigns. That's awesome. And then again, the last guy I'm really looking for is... Evan McPherson, a four-year deal, he'll put him at 29. He shouldn't regress. We should be fine. Yeah, so we're good now. I don't really feel like any of these guys really need to worry about resigning. Yeah, we did lose to Washington. Let's take a look at this season so far. We beat the Titans by six. We got smoked by the Texans. We got smoked by the Colts. Beat the Rams and then have been on a nice three-game losing streak. Barely losing to the Panthers, losing to the Jaguars, and losing to the Commies. Okay, this three-game stretch here is huge. If we can come out of this with three wins, or even two, I think we'll be okay. This three-game stretch is brutal. Damn. Really salt away some of these wins. If we don't make the playoffs this year, um, probably going to have to switch some things up. Let's upgrade some more players, though. We got the Cardinals up next. Honestly, we're just going to send to the playoffs. If we don't make the playoffs, we're going to have to make some changes. Wow, so we just got to the end of this season. We're 4-13. Okay, we gotta make some changes. Let's change the team around. Let's change, let's, first of all, we'll start with the playbooks. We're gonna switch to the Kansas City Chiefs playbooks. I'm gonna come back to this, but I think I'm gonna go with spread and base 4-3. I'll probably come back to this once free agency's over just to make sure I have the right schemes. But offensively and defensively, we gotta go with the Chiefs playbook. Caleb Williams, you know, say it how you want. Makes plays just like Mahomes. We have an elite receiving core. We gotta sling the ball around. Wow, okay, well, I'm glad that our D-line played well. That was huge. Caleb Williams has two more upgrades already. We're gonna get the scrambler up with him. We upgraded Caleb Williams and Javon Dexter manually. We're going to let the CPU handle the rest of these. Let's take a look at the season stats because we clearly did not play well this season. Last in offense. Yeah, something's got to change. I'm glad that we changed the playbook. Caleb, oh my God, that's a terrible year. Oh my God. What is his dev? Is he, he's only star. Oh my God. That's a buzz kill. DeAndre Swift almost had a thousand yards on the ground. Uh, Caleb Williams had 500 yards on the ground too. Receiving what? Yeah, this offense was anemic. Oh my goodness. All right, how do we do defensively? Sacks wise, Darnell Wright only had let up nine, but the rest of the offensive line was fine. Defensively, Jalen Johnson led the team in, in solo tackles with 80 of his own. TFLs, Montez Sweat had 13, Javon Dexter had 11. Andrew Billings led the team in sacks. That's probably not a good sign. TJ Edwards did have four picks. Justin Simmons came in, had two of his own. I think we have the pieces. I really hope this playbook switch is going to help. And the Chiefs win another Super Bowl. Matt LaFleur wins coach of the year. Uh, you don't like that. Take a look at the retirements. Let's find Gilmore, Harrison Smith, Russell Wilson. Yeah, taking a look at our rankings, we ran the ball really well. Defensively, we didn't allow many rushing yards. We got killed through the air and we did not throw the ball well. We absolutely have to do that better. Let me go through our roster right now and see if there's anybody that I can cut that would save us a bunch of money. I am going to cut Demarcus Walker. His, he would save us $5 million this season and he's not doing anything. He's got to go. We have $9 million in cap room, but I'm not really like, I would love to get Amari Cooper. You know, two is great. Paulson and Debo would be great. We can't afford him. I kind of just want to see where these guys go. I mean, wow, two went to the ramp. Holy. So we're going to sit, we're going to sit next week and see if there's anybody else that we like. But if not, I'll just roll my cap space over. I'll be honest. I think I'm going to go after Patrick Ricard. <laughs> I don't really know why. But he's a fucking fullback, and that's so, uh, you know, every team needs a good fullback. And he actually accepted our deal, so we got Patrick Ricard. That's awesome. He's only on a one-year deal, but it'd be cool to have him. Now we get to the most important part of the offseason, the draft. We really didn't use our cap space. I, I feel like the team we had was great. I just really think that we have to do better with the scheme. We're going to see what this draft looks like. We got all of our picks, so this should be exciting. All right, at number two, let's, let's see what we got here. Do we want to go offensive lineman here? I feel more comfortable drafting Dakota Montgomery and then shifting Braxton Jones inside? Or do I go... Pierman to replace Nate Davis. 6'4, 340. He's 326. Damn. You know what? No, I'm going Sean Pierman. Stud finders. I mean, he's hidden dev. He's hidden dev. We love that. I don't need to see this, bro. A plus. See his player profile. Speed is not actually not that good, but hidden dev. I love it. Deshaun Westbrook is here, a running back. There's a lot of running backs here. He's around one talent. We're in the second round. I think I'm gonna go Deshaun Westbrook. 52nd, we drafted him at 34, a little bit of a reach. He is hidden dev though. That's awesome. In the third round, we got Jay Woody, a free safety. We have Daquan Sapp, a tight end. I don't really know if I want a tight end. We have Cole Komet. 
They have a lot of good guys in the secondary too. Ugh. I don't really like where we're at. Maybe, do I just trade this pick? I don't really want to though. I want to try to get just more, more throws at the board. I think I have to take Taquan Sapp. You know, he's probably not the best fit, but I'd rather have the talent and we can trade that pick. He's a hidden down, they said he's D. But he's hidden dev. So that's awesome. We've got three hidden dev players already. I think I'm gonna go Juan Hoskins. We don't have an outside linebacker, left outside linebacker. He's an outside linebacker from Iowa. I think we really need this guy. D damn. Normal dev. Oh, that's gonna be tough. All the way in the sixth round now. At this point, we're just probably gonna take best player available. Honestly, I don't even know. I think Corey Ivory might be here in the seventh. I think I'm gonna go get Khalil Carey. He's a six-foot corner out of LSU. Yeah, we're gonna go with him. Yeah. Not a bad, 92 Excel, 87 speed. It's just his coverages aren't there, but his stats are there. Okay, so not a bad draft. Not a bad draft. We have trade offers for Gerald Everett. Eh, nothing crazy. I'll be honest, I'm okay with keeping him. At least for now. Oh my God. What? Dude, that's so fucking whack. Oh my God. There's a lot of guys that want Gerald Everett. Ooh. Derek Hall? I'm gonna take Derek Hall. Oh my goodness. We already have two tight ends. All right, our goal is to win seven games. At the end of the day, we won four games last year. Our goal has to be to beat that. Let's upgrade some of our guys before the season starts. Keenan Allen, only an 87 overall, but I know we just signed him with that big contract, but I'm hoping that he can be a key contributor for the next couple of years. Or he retires. That'd be cool if he retires. Anyway. Cole Komet continuing to get better. The morale stuff is from the damn... Didn't... I, I thought... The reason I didn't pick the right person is because I thought when we were gonna talk about difference makers, it was gonna shun the rest of the guys on the team. So that's why I tried not to do that. Let's take a look at the lineup one more time before the season starts. Obviously the morale stuff, yeah, that blows, but it is what it is. Adunze is a star. We have Braxton Jones. Sean Pierman's the rookie. We're gonna start him at left guard immediately. Nate Davis, you are probably gonna get cut. Sap is kind of a bum, but who knows? Keenan Allen, Ricard, Williams. I'm hoping the scheme changes everything. Because if the scheme changes things, we're gonna be in really good shape. Defensively, Justin Simmons is still a superstar. TJ and Tremaine Edwins. We bring in Hall, the rookie. Jaquan Brisker, he's a, he's a star already. That's awesome. Montez Sweat, Billings. I mean, Austin Booker's gonna start. Let's go. We're actually gonna switch the scheme to a vertical zone run. And we're gonna switch our defense to a 4-6. It pretty much fits our entire defense. I think the 4-6 is huge anyways. We're gonna send him to midseason. We're gonna hope that this scheme is the difference. We're three and four so far. Okay, so we're not terrible. We just gotta continue to play better. We're better than we were last year. Caleb Williams is slinging the rock around though. Second in the league in passing yards. We love to see that. We're not running the ball really at all, but we are launching the rock around. Let's take a look at our schedule so far. Lost to the Eagles, lost to the Lions. We beat the Browns, Giants, and the Packers, and we lost the Bengals and the Steelers. This is a pretty manageable schedule. The game against the Broncos, these home games are, oh, these home games are tough. We gotta go on the road to play some really tough teams. It's a tough schedule. DJ Moore, we gotta bring him back. We gotta give him everything we can. We have so much cap space. We got to bring him back. TJ Edwards, another guy. I think if we can get him back on a nice 10, yeah, that's awesome. Jaquan Brisker, do not want to lose him. Ideally, I kind of maybe lowball him. Oh, you don't like that. Kyler Gordon, I would love to bring him back. He's only 25. This is taking place 30. He's only going to get better. Kevin Byard only wants a one year deal. I think we can make that happen. Nate Davis, we just signed. We just drafted someone better than you. You're gone, buddy. Patrick Ricard, we're going to try to lowball him, but we want him to come back. Sean Pierman is already almost a 78 overall. This guy we drafted second overall, he's been great for us. He's a superstar. Wow, we love that. We're at midseason. We're gonna send to the end of the season and we're gonna see how we do. In six and 11, I just don't understand what we're doing wrong. I probably have to fire the offensive coordinator at this point. Like, we're just not making progress. Let's take a look at the season stats. He, Caleb Williams had a much better season. He was 13 and 13 last year. He kept that on his picks, doubled his touchdowns. Just gotta keep getting him better. DeAndre Swift almost had a thousand yards. Cole Komet led the team in receiving yards, nine touch and touchdowns. We did have five different players hit over 700 yards. So I'm not really that upset about it. Blocking wise, Braxton Jones had up 12 sacks. That is tough. Defensively, Tremaine Edmonds and TJ Edwards have been fantastic. Jalen Johnson was good. Who led the team in sacks? Montez Sweat, he's been nothing short of spectacular. Four picks by Jalen Johnson, two by Tyreek Stevenson. I just don't understand how this team is so bad. Let's take a look at this schedule. See if we lost like a bunch of close games. So this is when we stopped. We beat the Broncos, lost there, lost the Vikings. We lost, I mean, this is six points, this is eight. Beat the Lions, lose the Vikings by a touchdown. I mean, none of these games are bad. I just don't understand what we're doing wrong. Quan Sapp, the tight end we drafted, you know, he developed really well this season, so that's good. We love to see that. He's still hidden dev, so he didn't really get that much take, but we do have Cole Komet on the team, so. I mean, if we look at our team 
defensively, we were better against the pass. We were much worse against the run, but we really slung the ball around. We just need to get better on defense. I think getting these additional focus players for our practice is huge, and then just trying to continue to develop. Okay, let's take a look at this. Andy Reid wins coach of the year. Dak Prescott wins MVP. We don't have anything. Damn. We were 20th in offense. I mean, Caleb Williams was fifth in passing yards, so we're definitely getting better. Jaquan Brisker, we gotta make sure we bring Jaquan Brisker back. Let's see if we can get him back on this three-year deal. Okay, who? He decided to come back. Huge. Darnell Wright, we're gonna bring him back on his fifth-year option. Braxton Jones, if we can get him on this... Oh, we can't. Okay, so we got to restructure some contracts. Let's go. So we brought back Patrick Ricard. We love that. So we're going to restructure Jalen Johnson's contract just so we can get some more cap space this season. We need to be able to resign Braxton Jones. That's the one guy we need to go get. So we restructured DJ Moore's contract. This is going to give us the money to resign Braxton Jones. What did I offer him before? This one? I think I offered him. So we're going to give him a three-year deal. All right, so Nate Davis, you're going to kick rocks. We're going to lose a lot of other guys. Velas, I hope you... I never see you again. Everybody else... They can go kick, kick rocks. We have some more cap space. Probably not going to use it. Just probably going to use it on draft picks. I mean, a lot of these guys are in their 30s. Like, the only person on here is a Kem McWanu, but I don't have the money for him. $18 million a year? I just signed Braxton Jones. We stand Patton for agency again. We're just going to go into the draft, try to get some huge impact guys. So we draft at seven. Let's see who we got on the board. They really think quarterback here. This is crazy work. And none of these guys are good. Like, Jaden Randolph, Adam Eaton, and Lucas Hawkinson. I think I'm going to go Alex Chamblin. We need another linebacker. He's got great stats. Fuck it, let's do it. 57, we drafted him at seven. Hidden dev though. 83 Excel, 78 speed. <sighs> Not bad. B block shed, A pursuit, B play rack. Okay, wow. So we're in the second round. Jaden Randolph is, is still here. Do I go get someone like Spencer Tiller? Or do I trade this pick? What can I get for this pick? I can get a first, fifth, and a sixth from Buffalo and a first, fifth, and a sixth. Oh, dude, I'm gonna take this. Get ourselves another first round pick. That's huge. All right, Wayne Lewis is here. He's someone that's jumped way up on the board. Honestly, I think I'm going to take him. I know we drafted a tight end last year. We do have Cole Komet, but I don't really see anybody else at this position we could take. He's a round one, two talent. I say we just take him and, you know, trade him if we have to. Normal dev, yeah, that, that might have been a bad pick. Looking at where we're at in the fourth round, only three guys on this board are supposed to be two, round two, three guys. This is a round three, four guy. Honestly, I don't really need safety help though, or receivers. I think we just take Thaddeus Bacon and fuck it, just have him. Yeah, damn bro, we are selling the bag in this draft. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take Austin Teague. Keenan Allen is getting old. We're in the fifth round. I might as well just try to take the best talent available at this point. Honestly, we're gonna trade this pick. Let's see if we can get a fit. Let's see if we can get anything out of this pick. I don't really like any of the guys that we saw either. Fifth and a sixth from Buffalo. Dude, I'm gonna fleece this shit out of Buffalo. Buffalo is just giving me all their picks. That's fine with me. And then honestly, I, I'm just gonna trade this one away too. If I can get a couple future picks, that's fine. Was it the best draft? We made a lot of trades. So Alex Chamberlain's gonna be fine. Wayne Lewis, these guys are just, these guys aren't gonna be anything special, but Alex Chamberlain should be someone, he should be okay. Let's take a look at the lineup going into year three. So Caleb Williams is actually a superstar. Okay, we love that. We have another superstar offensive lineman in Pierman and Tevin Jenkins. I don't know if he was one of them before. Keenan Allen's still an 84. Roma Dunze is an 84. So he's going to overtake Keenan Allen soon. We do need to get a center. Here we go. A second and three fifths. Oh, this should get it done. We have the center of the future. This dude's going to be on our team for the rest of probably the rebuild. Generate best lineup. We love to see that. Oh my God. Our new center offensive line looks beautiful. Graham Barton. We have stars or superstars at all five positions. We have Cole Komet. We still have Sapp as the backup. We have Patrick Ricard, Caleb Williams, DeAndre Swift. We have fucking DJ Moore, Roma Dunze, Keenan Allen. Our offense is loaded. Jonathan Simmons still here. Kevin Byard kind of sucks, but that's why we have Jonathan Simmons or Justin Simmons. I keep calling him Jonathan. I'm sorry. We have the Edward. We have TJ Edwards, Tremaine Edmonds. We are going to start Derek Hall at left outside linebacker. Damn, do I start him or do I start the rookie? I mean, our front seven, I definitely need to address, but there just hasn't been guys at the positions where we're drafting. So I, just, I guess this is just a huge hole that I need to address, but I feel comfortable with it for now. Yeah, Zach Pickens is fine. I just need to find someone either in free agency or in the draft. And then let's take a look at the scheme fit. Let's try to change it again. I guess not. I guess we're going to run with vertical zone run. Let's switch to a 3-4 under. All right, last year we were 6-11. I'm going to set seven goals as the win. God damn it, please, can we make the playoffs? Injury prevention. We definitely don't want Jalen Johnson getting hurt. Oh, DJ Moore. 
Injury prevention, bro. We do not want DJ Moore getting hurt. I hate these media things. These are just scams. 30 sacks? Are you out of your fucking mind? Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, my God. 20 sacks by our end? Montez Foot is going to get like 10 sacks. Has to get like 15 sacks. Oh, my. Caleb Williams unlocked a new ability with his superstar. Honestly. Sean Pierman, because he's now a superstar, he has abilities. He only gets two, but that's fine. Our team is looking better. Let's take a look at the lineup one more time. Yeah, this team looks significantly better. I, this, there's no, I just can't understand. There's no way this team doesn't make the playoffs. Like, actually, we have a star or superstar at every position on offense. Defensively, sure, I get it. We have some question marks. Um, we did switch to a two, a four, three. Honestly, we're gonna switch our offense to a spread offense. Caleb Williams, this, this fits our offense better. It doesn't actually fit our line as good but it fits our skill position players much better. I think that's gonna be huge for Caleb Williams' development. All right, we're gonna to jump to mid-season, see how we do. So at the midway point, we're two and four again. We seem to be right around this mark every single time we do this. So let's take a look at this. Going into the bye, we gotta come out of the bye with, some, with something. DeAndre Swift is almost a 90 overall. He wants to be here. We do have cap space. I'm gonna to try to see if I can get him on a team-friendly deal. Yeah. Jermaine have been same thing. He wants to be here. I'm going to try to get these guys in a team-friendly deal at first. Tyreek Stevenson, he's got, he wants a small deal. We can try to bring him back. We like that. We're going to upgrade Caleb Williams again. Just keep, he's continuing to progress. He's almost in 90 overall already. This is only his third year. He's a superstar. Could get Makai Blackman for Ivan Pace. I'm okay with Makai Blackman. I like Ivan Pace, excuse me. I'm, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jimmy Webster, a superstar tight end. 22 years old. This would allow me to trade Cole Komet. Oh, I don't need Jimmy Webster. I don't need him. I don't need him. We're going to win with Cole Komet. We're going to win with Cole Komet. We're going to do it. All right. I'm going to sim to the end of the season. Hopefully we make the playoffs. That would be brutal if we didn't make the playoffs for the third straight year. Here we go. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. Did we make it? We're the one seed. Oh my God. Whoa. How are we the one seed? What was our record? I, let's see the offense first. Wait, we finished 13 and four. We were two and four. We won 11 straight games. Oh my God. Let's take a look at the stats. 36 to five. Jake Hayner got in there for a couple slings. Oh my God, Caleb Williams. DeAndre Swift ran for over a thousand yards. Keenan Allen and Cole Komet had over a thousand yards. DJ Moore and Rome had just over 650 apiece. Yeah, Keenan Allen. Oh my God, what a fantastic season from Keenan Allen. Blocking-wise, didn't allow that many sacks. Most was darn all right with eight. Defensively, 97 tackles from Tremaine Edmonds, or excuse me, 115 tackles from Tremaine Edmonds. Austin Booker had five and a half sacks. We did have four and a half from Montez Sweat, four and a half from Javon Dexter, four from Zach Pickens. We actually might've gotten 20 sacks from our D-line. Oh my, we get 19 and a half sacks from our D-line. We're not gonna get the goal. That's crazy. Let's take a look at interceptions. Jalen Johnson had six. Golly, Tremaine Edmonds and Jaquan Briscoe had three. Weekly awards, yeah, we, we probably ran through the league with this. Let's see if we had any before this. We, Caleb Williams against, I don't even know who that is. Week 10, he was the player of the week. Jalen Johnson had two picks week 11. Week 16, Caleb Williams and Jalen Johnson. Oh my goodness, Caleb Williams really come, came on strong. We finished the season number two in offense, number four in defense. Let's take a look at the storylines. Oh, our left and right end, yeah, we didn't do that. Yeah, that was bad. Who's one player? A secret weapon? Dude, it's gotta be Ron Modunze. It's gotta be Odunze. Uh, catching. I think catching is super important. It's personality. Romo Odunze plus five catch. We'll take it. Caleb Williams has three upgrades. Oh my goodness. He's, he's a 92 overall with the morale boost. Holy. He's an 89 overall. Boosted to a 94. Graham Barton, the center we traded for, he's gonna be up to probably an 86 or an 85 after we upgrade him. Sean Pierman, the guy we drafted second overall. He has become a stud. He's probably going to be an 83 after we do this. Team has a plus two morale. Oh my God. Pierman has another upgrade. He's up to an 83. Boosted to an 84. He is so good. Take a look at the playoff bracket here. We're going to be taking on the Packers who took down the Rams. Okay. We cannot lose this game. No way. 87 overall. We don't have a superstar X Factor, but we do have a bunch of superstars. It's a snow game at Soldier. Oh my God. This is awesome. I want to sit on... Justin Simmons, nothing over my head. Oh, gonna bring some pressure here. Uh, I'm gonna bring Justin Simmons down cover. I don't even know who that is. That's still Josh Jacobs. Oh, it's a run. It's a run. No. Sitting on Edwards here. Anything across the middle is mine. Get that. So we're gonna hold no field goal. That's huge. Great way to start this off. 
Not gonna get it. Okay, so they're gonna take a three nothing lead. Okay, uh, we must have thrown a pick. That's not good. Caleb Williams, you gotta lock in, big dog. Shit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotta get a stop here. Gotta hold no field goal. It's not like the Packers are scrubs either. Packers are 12 and 5. They're gonna get a first down. Oh, damn. No, no! Oh. Alright, here we go. We gotta get something. What is this play call? Oh, there it is. I was like, what the hell's going on? Komet in motion. I think DJ Moore coming across the middles. Oh. Oh my god, stay on your feet! That was such a bad ball! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked out. Cole Komet, what a catch. Third and four, we gotta get a stop here. Sitting on Justin Simmons. Get there! Huge, nice job by the D-line! Get there, get there! Huge sack by the Montez Sweat! Huge sack! Third and seven, we gotta get this first down here. They're in man... Oh, bad ball, never mind! Great ball by can't stay on your feet! Get out of there, Rome! Oh my god! Is that Rome or is that... Oh, that is Keenan Allen, my bad. Oh my god! They're in one high. Keenan Allen's gonna be wide open. Put DJ Moore on a post, though. Get outside. Bad ball by me, bad ball. Right across his face, get the first down! Nice job, Cole Komet! Gotta get, it away. Gotta get rid of it. I actually might have been on a throwback to Keenan Allen, but I didn't know what, what button he was. Oh no! That was such a late read by me. We're in zone. Get out of there! Get out of there, Caleb Williams! Get out of there! Nice job, Caleb Williams. Oh my god. They do. Oh, I missed it! Gotta come up and make a play! Gotta come up and make a play! No! No! It was, oh my god, I was about to say it was right at my user. Oh my god, I moved it away just... Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. He got it. Touchdown! He burnt him! Don't lead him too far. Oh my god! I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna get greedy. But this ball has to be in the end zone. Yeah. I'm taking my three. I haven't done this yet. Oh, I drilled it. Okay, okay, okay. So we're tied going to the half. We started off down 10 nothing. Came back. There's nothing going across the middle. I like Odunze there, actually. I'm gonna put Keenan Allen on a slant, actually, here. Yep. Across the middle. Keenan Allen! Let's go! Nice job. We just gotta hold him. If we can hold him to a field goal, be in good spot. Build. Huge sick! I don't even. What was that? Oh my goodness, Jervon Dexter, he just blew that play up. Come on, carry. There it is, I see where he's looking. I see where he's looking, huge sack! Fourth and 27, Montez Sweat! He has been everywhere. Oh my, he's still... What did we, what was that? I didn't... He missed it. He missed it! He missed it! He missed it, let's go! I like this, how are they, how are they covering this? Oh man. No, no, I hit A! He didn't... Dude, he literally... I pressed A to throw it to Cole Komet and he didn't do it. So I just took off. Oh, they're blitzing. That was a terrible blitz. Spin move. Okay, maybe spin moves are not a, a Madden thing. Cut across the middle. Nice job, Odunze. Touchdown, Keenan Allen. Oh my god, I think I've hit Keenan Allen every- I think Keenan Allen has all four touchdowns. We're an onside kick return away from knocking out the Packers. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Got it. Keenan Allen. Got it. Got it. Give me a block! I was trying to take that back. And the Bears are advancing to the NFC Championship game. Let's go. Let's take a look at the stats here. Caleb Williams, 22 for 28, 254. Three touchdowns. Did have a pick. Just look at our stats. DeAndre Swift, I, I'm not going to lie. I did not run the ball. Receiving wise, Odunze had six receptions. Keenan Allen, six for 83 with two touchdowns. Colk, DJ Moore had one reception and it was that bomb. I just wasn't looking DJ Moore's way. I kept looking at Komet. I kept looking at Keenan Allen. <sighs> Odunze was huge. He was the X Factor. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We're taking on the Cowboys. Cowboys took down the Niners by one and then the Panthers by three. So this is not going to be an easy game. Let's take a look at the weekly awards. Caleb Williams and Javon Dexter. Unsung hero. He had a great game. Dak Prescott of the Cowboys. Oh my God, that is such an ugly jersey, but let's do it. 
This is for a chance to go to the Super Bowl, baby. Sitting on Edwards. They're going to run this ball to the left. Yep. Nice job, D-line. Nice job. <sighs> Third and goal. Oh, he didn't get it. He was out of bounds. I'm bringing pressure. I'm not going to Dak sit back there. I'm going to come down cover the running back manually with Justin Simmons. Here we go. Oh, it's a screen. It's a screen. Yes, got him. Woohoo! All right, well, they got three. They got three. They're a great team. They're here for a reason. Going to sit in man again. We got to bring pressure. We got to get something. I'm going to sit on Tremaine Evans. We got a whole new... Oh, it's a run. Meet him in the... Oh, it's a ball! Ball's out! I manually forced a fumble! Let's go! Lit his ass up! Oh, my God. We got to get another stop. It's okay. It's okay. We're the monsters of the midways, baby. Hit him again! Let's go! Just keep lighting him up. Oh, I left a hole in the middle. I left a hole in the middle. Get there! Give me the give me the animation! Let's go! Meet him in the hole! Let's go! Oh, they're in single high. They were in single high. Oh my god. I was a good coverage by them. I thought they were in two. That stay on your feet. Inside. Inside! Nice throw, Caleb! Stay on your feet, Odunze! Nice job! Cross his face. Caleb Williams right to the middle! Romo Dunze is everywhere! Get my check down. Ah, whatever, we got out of bounds. <sighs> I was not impressed. They flew off that. Were they not impressed there? Oh, Dunze, nice job. Timeout. <sighs> there. Touchdown. Oh, never mind. First and goal with the one. We'll take it. Oh my god, I got sacked. What the fuck was that? Timeout. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking Whoa, who is that? Who is that? We get the ball. Okay. Didn't have the greatest start to that. Oh, ew, what? I forgot. Oh, Odunze is running kickoff return. Oh my god. 42. I need a better block than that. Get there. Get there, DJ Moore. Get out of there. Nice route. No, 76. Oh, my God. Odigizua. Touchdown. Let's go. The backup tight end, the one we drafted, Sap. Huge sack. I don't know who. Jervon Dexter. Oh, my God. He flew in. Great defense. Listen, he can have that. Oh, shit. I got stuck on someone I didn't want to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fourth down. They can take their three. Nope, didn't get it again. Damn, I gotta get this. I blocked one kick in one of my college football rebuilds. Cross his face. Get there, DJ Moore. We got the first down. Just gonna salt the clock away. I'm just gonna keep hitting my check downs. Okay, I'm so used to spinning. Oh my god. We're gonna put the ball in the hands of DeAndre Swift. You have not seen much of him in the gameplay, but he has been huge for this offense. And it's time for him to put this team on his back. Give me the first. Give me the first. There we go. One first down and it's over. Game. Game. Get out of there, Keenan Allen! One more! No! Oh! Get there, get there, get there, get there! Get there! Get there! I know we gotta make a stop, but they have to get they have to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion, so we're in a good spot. RPO? Oh shit, I switched on to the wrong guy. I did not mean to switch on to Jaquan Brisker. Where am I? I'm on a D-lineman. I'm on Javon Dexter! We popped it out. Huge. Where am I? Dude, how did they catch that ball? I don't even know what just happened. I'm on Simmons. Dude, they are just picking us apart. Maybe I shouldn't have scored that touchdown. That might have been stupid. Go give me that! Give me that! Jalen Johnson! Go give me that pick. We're taking this back. Jalen Johnson, a pick six! The Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Oh, my God. With the team with Javon Dexter, the Sally. Sally's. And the Bears are one win away from hoisting the Lombardi Trophy up. Oh, my God. And we have to take on the Chiefs. The six-seeded Chiefs took down the Raiders, the Colts, and then the Ravens. We have to take on Patrick Mahomes. Oh, my God. This is not going to be fun. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. Do we have any yearly award winners? Holmes was first for the MVP, but Caleb Williams was third. Caleb Williams was third. Having a top 10 MVP player, that was one of our goals. We have that. Coach of the year. Oh, Eberflus was coach of the year. Let's go. Jalen Johnson won best DB. Okay, we'll take that. That guy seems pretty important. 
Oh, he's a superstar X Factor. Oh my God, Jalen Johnson is a lockdown corner. Before we get into the Super Bowl, let's take one last look at our lineup. Obviously, offensively, Caleb Williams is a superstar X Factor. It's, am I? I literally thought that when I looked at Jake Hayner, he was a superstar X Factor. What? I thought we had two superstar X Factor quarterbacks. Cole Komet, superstar X Factor. Keenan Allen jumped back up to a superstar. Obviously, Patrick, Patrick Ricardo. Or excuse me, Patrick Ricard. Uh, DJ Moore, Romo Dunze, dude, Romo Dunze, a 91, he's a 84 of up at the morale, DeAndre Swift up to a 96, our entire offensive line is above an 80, defensively, everybody's fine, even Zach Pickens is a 74, Javon Dexter almost up to a 78, Austin Booker, Jalen Johnson, superstar X-Factor, Jaquan Brisker up to a superstar, Hall up to a star, we still have Chamblin, who's not even there yet, I mean, golly, this is the Super Bowl, baby. We gotta take down Mahomes. I don't know if Kelsey's still here. He's not. Pacheco's a superstar X Factor and Chris Jones. And across the, oh, give me that! Give me that bad ball! Jalen Johnson or took to me Jaquan Brisker! Oh my goodness, that was a terrible ball from Mahomes. DJ Moore, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! DJ Moore, huge! Oh, you gotta have that DJ Moore. They're trying to hide it. Nice catch, DJ Moore. Oh my god, I didn't lean, mean to lead him inside that much, but golly. I felt it, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it. He's got, he's, Caleb Williams is so fast. Oh my god. But that means that's wide open. Give me a block. Nice job, Odunze. Huge block, stay on your feet. Keenan Allen has been a star. Oh my god, DJ Moore. Oh my god, DJ Moore. Let's go. And the Bears strike first. I'm gonna bring a major blitz here. Oh shit, I wanna get a sit on, I wanna sit on Jaquan Brisker. Here we go. No, no, what the fuck are you? Dude, what the fuck? Who, I don't even know who that was. I really don't even know who that was. What the hell was that coverage? Defense needs some help. Offense, we gotta step it up. I'm sorry, I'm so locked in boys. I really just wanna win this game. I was watching Keenan Allen the whole way. I didn't even look. Cut back. DeAndre Swift, huge pancake by the center. Huge run. Let's go. We tied the game up. Yep. Touchdown. Hold on to it, oh, dude. Just like that. Dude, no. Oh, my God. Who is that? I don't know the number. I think that's Justin Simmons. What are you doing? Dude, I led him way too far inside. Lead him upfield. Get a field, Cole Komet! Cole Komet, no! No, that was a bad ball. Means. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Get there. Cole Komet! Oh my god. Not at all. Oh my god. Stay on your feet! Stay on your feet! Let's go! The Chiefs will not go away. We just need to hold them to a fourth down here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why is he so far off? Oh, my God. Dude, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. They don't animate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. RPO? Oh, shit. Mahomes. Give me that right across the middle to Odunze, first down. That's not even across the middle, I meant outside, I'm just yapping. Just need a first down, get a field, get a field. Oh, first and goal, let's go Romo Odunze. Which means I gotta attack the middle, touchdown. Let's go Keenan Allen! Oh my God, I've been looking for Keenan Allen this whole video. Get downfield. Jaquan Brisker's been everywhere so far. Dude, how? I don't understand why we're sitting behind him. Just, like, get in front of him. The Chiefs team is fucking loaded. Just gotta hold him, boys. Oh, it's a run. Oh, it's not a run. Oh, my God, our defensive line is everywhere. Is that Austin Booker or is that Javon Dexter? Huge sack! Let's go fourth and 23! I'm sitting on Jaquan Brisker. If we can hold him here, that's game. Oh my god, I thought he caught it. DeAndre Swift, this is what you're here for. 
Give me a... Oh, my God. He's got suplexed. Seven rushes for 17 yards is... Stay on your feet. I probably should have gone outside there, but I got seven. Got it! DeAndre Swift! And the Chicago Bears are your Super Bowl champions. Take down the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. After the first couple of years, I didn't know if we were going to be able to do it, especially with the current core or Eberflus. Or, oh, that was an ugly Gatorade, bro. That animation was ugly. Oh, my God. I wonder who's going to be Super Bowl MVP. Is it going to be Caleb or is it going to be a DB? Oh, my God. It feels so weird to see the Bears with... Is that Randy Moss? What the fuck's he doing with that thing? Oh, my God. Roger Goodell, give that thing to Caleb Williams. Let's take a look at the stats. 24 for 33. Three touchdowns. 324 through the air. DeAndre Swift only had 27 yards, but he did have a touchdown. DJ Moore, a buck 29 with a touchdown. Keenan Allen had 51 with a touchdown. Ramo Dunze had 50 with a touchdown. Cole Komet had 81. Our offense was humming. A couple sacks, but we had our offensive line was moving people. Derek Hall, a sack and a half. We also had Javon Dexter with a sack. Zach Pickens with half a sack. Jaquan Brisker and Justin Simmons, each with an interception. Justin Simmons was really our one big free agent move, and he was huge. We're going to let this get out of this, and we're going to see who won Super Bowl MVP. Caleb Williams wins Super Bowl MVP. We complete our goal. We have a top 10 offense. We have an MVP finalist. We have a, we had a winning record versus our division. We won our division, and we won the Super Bowl. I'm sorry this was a little over the place. I'm still trying to get in the hang of the Madden rebuild. This is the first time I've ever done one. I wanted to do one with the Bears. And, uh, yeah, it was really cool to see Caleb Williams blossom into the player he is. I'm going to have another Bears thing coming soon, or Caleb Williams thing coming soon. You'll see that. I'm going to do something. I'm just going gonna, gonna, gonna to sim to next season, and I kind of want to see what this team does. I'm just going to let the CPU handle everything. So we simmed another year, and we didn't even make the playoffs. So we might have had a miracle run. But Caleb Williams is a stud. Let's take a look at the roster one more time. DJ Moore, Romo Dunze, they let Keenan, Keenan Allen retired. Caleb Williams, they let DeAndre Swift walk. Our offensive line is a bunch of studs. We have Cole Komet. Our defense, objectively, kind of a little better. Let some people walk, but... This team's in good shape. But again, just want to say thank you guys for watching. I know this was a little all over the place. Leave a comment down below what team I should rebuild next, both college or pro. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.